like getting drunk, I hate hangovers. Everything hurts. The Try Guy's gonna try different alcohols and compare them. We wanna see how different alcohols affect us. Four weekends, four types of alcohol. Watch out. This is science, ladies and gentlemen, barely science. There's a lot of myths about alcohol intake, and there are some tips that you could use to be safer that are based on research. Chaos! How are we gonna measure the quality of our drunkenness? One, how turnt are you? Did I say that right? How turnt? Two, the hangover. How sh do you feel the next morning? And three, the personal factor. My third factor is how hungry I get. I notoriously get wild and crazy when I get drunk. When I go out drinking with my wife, we go home early. How much I, I talk to girls. Woo! You're the yeah. baby! Do I? You're the Oh Having fun with the bicycles. My favorite thing is beer. You can just sit back, drink beer, have good conversations. Oh, come on! We decided to move our drinking to a brewery. Beer contains more carbohydrates and calories than some of the other alcohols. It's a it's a conversational drink. That's it's so a nice. drink to be had with friends. So silly. It's absorbed more slowly because the other calories are being worked on. I wanted to kick off a little steam, but I wanted to take it easy. I was f***ing bored out of my mind. Let's just continue drinking and see where the night takes us. This is the thing that Eugene does is that when he's drunk, he just leaves. It's not that I'm bored, it's just that people are boring. We're his friends! We're his friends and we're playing Jenga! Jenga! Ned was barely drinking. I'm turnt city! He wasn't drunk, but he was so like, drunk. I exactly feel like hammered. Drunk. Keith's hunger factor was good. I get hungry, guys. I love to eat. Zach had negative girl points. Cause I don't think Zach talked to one woman the entire night, and I talked to maybe 50. Beer night overall, it was okay for me. I didn't get too drunk, I wasn't too outgoing. Actually, now that I'm saying this out loud, it was pretty awful for me. <laughs> but no hangover, hey. Good beer night. Hang out, good ah. beer night. Ah. Ah. So we were about to go meet at Chris Reinecker's birthday party. Let's get cronkified. To really do the test to see which would cause the worst hangover, you gotta make sure that you're giving the person equal amounts of alcohol in that beverage. That's definitely more than a shot. Very scientific. Vodka sucks. It's just f***ing rotten potato juice. But I always associate it with a really hardcore college party. There's a gong in this house! Vodka night got crazy. Vodka night got too crazy. Everyone get in the tub with me. Binge drinking can be very dangerous, and that's where someone takes a large amount of alcohol in one day, in one sitting, or in one evening. <laughs> actually know how many drinks I have. This is, this is out of control. Are you guys doing a weird experiment at my birthday party? Yes. Everyone take a shot! Something went horribly wrong last night. That's where accidents may happen. People's judgment and their physical coordination is impaired. Mango chutney. I ate four sandwiches. Yeah, I, I would get activated immediately. How many girls have you talked to? I have talked to a yeah. few. Bye, Eugene. Where did he go? Where does he ever go? Goodbye, Try Guys at House Party. Do you want to break that? They are not going to go to the strip club. Why? I'm going to a strip club. Will you guys come? What? No, we can't go to a strip club. Oh, God, we went to a strip club. Well, I woke up this morning with all of my makeup still on and this in my purse. Hi. On vodka, there's only one thing you can do, and it's go to a mother strip club. Sure enough, Eugene and Kelsey disappear within 15 minutes. We're there's a winner? Cool. Vodka makes you irresponsible. I drank more than I expected to. Stayed out way later than I expected. Too. Being in a party environment encouraged me to rage more with my friends. Good night, phone. They took all my covers. The dogs. Stop being dogs. Quite frankly, we don't know what the underlying cause of the hangover is. Uh, I don't think I drank enough water. Your thinking and your judgment and your motor skills are impaired. Doggies keep running on my face when I take my face out. I feel pretty great. No hangover at all. Uh, I'm headed to a workout. I myself was surprised to find out that there's a fair number of automobile accidents that occur when they're suffering from a bad hangover. Do you guys like sleeping with Pete? Yes, we love to keep him awake. Wine makes me want to be fancy. It's our third Friday, it's wine day. And something we actually do pretty often is we start drinking at the office before we go out. So Zach and I went to the liquor store next door, bought a couple bottles of red, one bottle of white, because 
white wine. You gotta let it aerate. Cheers. Just hanging out. Let's relax. Let's de-stress with some wine. It's been a Friday. It's been a Friday. Got some wine at the office. Drank there. Some wine at Quince's rap party. We drank there. Teeth check. Mm, and gotta do tongue check. Uh, then of course we went to a restaurant, and I feel like that was where it was most appropriate to have wine. Free bread is like when someone you meet just shows you their preference. And I've never thought that. But at this point I'm realizing, man, I'm spending way, way more money. And I just ordered about $100 worth of food and drinks for myself. Problem two with drinking wine all night. Wine can make you sleepy. All alcohol is sedating, it's a sedative. When my wife gets sleepy, that means it's time for me to get sleepy. And then I got home and I think I ate some potatoes. Eugene ditched us, as he is wont to do. I, to be honest, I was pretty grateful for a relatively tame night. The next morning, red wine in susceptible people can cause a headache. I woke up with the worst wine headache ever. Chronic headaches, like migraines, they're susceptible to headaches and the red wine triggers it. A relatively tame night, tame night. Tequila shot. It's the quickest way to go from point A to point B. This is dumb. This is the one that I have feared the most. It's a, no, it's a double. Watch out. Ah. From a biological perspective, you're gonna get a faster effect and a slightly greater effect from a single shot of hard liquor as compared to wine and beer. Ah. Ah. I have to go to the airport and I think I'm still drunk, oh no. What a time. Is mistakes that will be made. We had tequila shots, we put little dots on our hands. We're dancing all in my living room with my dogs. Four shots in a little over an hour. I don't feel drunk yet, which is a problem. It's easy to get in over your head pretty quickly with shots. I didn't feel anything, and now I feel a lot. The more I think about it, I think all we did was take shots and dance. Maximum amount of alcohol intake that's considered healthy. No more than five drinks in a 24 hour period for men, and no more than four drinks in a 24 hour period for women. If you feel like you've drank so much that you don't remember what happened, or you've done things that you later regret, those are some of the warning signs that suggest you could have a problem. I realized that because of the way I party, I didn't really know what happened with the other three guys the other nights. Hey guys, I'm gonna try something for the first time in my life. I'm gonna drink responsibly. Tonight I'm gonna stay with you three, Aww. and I'm gonna help you all achieve your objectives. This was the first night that I've ever gone out drinking with Eugene that he actually was like, you know what? I'm gonna hang out with you guys. Don't drink so much, have a little water, and you can help one of your best buds get some, get some action. Zach is, Zach is totally making out right now. She's got two cats. Yo, my friend Zach likes cats. Boom. So, you know, look, and I, like, I'm not the kind of guy that's gonna like kiss and tell. His tongue was just plunging in her throat. Ned is giving money to the go-go dancers with his wife's support. <laughs> what happened by the end of the night? We're headed home, gonna catch a plane tomorrow. Oh. Then the best part of all. <laughs> I'm so happy. Harder. But the objective to be there with your friends and have a good time really changed the type of drinking night for me. She went home. We are the winners. We're the winners. Yeah. Yeah. I go and pee in Zach's house. We have one last goodbye, and then I take my Uber home. Keith leaves, so I win. I'm the winner. I'm the best drinker. Goodbye, Keith. I'm the best drinker officially. Hey, it's me in the mirror. Uh, uh, Good morning, hangover. Oh my god, I'm melting. Why am I awake? I have to go to the airport. I think I'm still drunk. Oh no. Per usual, I feel fine. 0 0.012! I am still drunk! But I feel even better because I remember everything and I stayed with my friends the entire time. <laughs> What I've learned through this entire experience is that alcohol is poison and my body hates it. You can get too drunk on anything, and that's just not safe. You can have fun without alcohol. But if you are gonna drink, make sure that you're doing it in a situation that's safe. Make sure that you're not gonna drive. Don't drink alone. Drink at your own pace. Drink responsibly. Know your limits, don't push them. There's no point in having fun and drinking if you can't remember any of it. Don't get too f***ed up, but get a little f***ed up. Dads are day after drinking The natural response of the body is to try to get that out. So both ends start to go. Dads are at like level. 